for the next one is the flagellates. We have two, no? Yung atrial. So, first one yung atrial flagellates muna. So, simple lang naman yung uh, atrial flagellates. Just like the, the amoeba, we have the cystic stage and the trophozoite stage. So, the cystic stage and the trophozoite stage. Although their trophozoite stage, instead of pseudopods, they have flagella. So, for example, we have the Georgia lamblia, uh, cystic stage, and then the trophozoite stage. So, ganyan ang life cycle niya. Though the trophozoite, they will uh, uh, divide through binary fission. So, ganyan lang siya lang. Ayan, cute, di ba? Yan na yung drawing ko. Ayan smile. Okay? That's it. So, flagellates possess the whip-like locomotory organelle called the flagella. The motor component is the flagella and the axonyms. No? And their neuromotor apparatus is the kinetoplast, which contains the uh, blepharoplasty and the parabasal body. No? So, if you want to have a um, um illust if you want me to illustrate no ayan gagawin ko na so ito yung trophozoite mo ayan 3D yan ko na ha and then this is the axonyms ayan axonyms yan the kinetoplast is nasa loob so ganyan medyo patabain natin ng konti yung kanyang trophozoite. Kinetoplast, yan ang dyan. And that kinetoplast, yung kinetoplast na yan, meron siyang blepharoplasty and the parabasal body. The blepharoplasty is like your, um, paano ba? Kung meron kang uh, car, parang yan yung inyong motor. No? Yun yung motor sa loob. While yung parabasal body, parang yan yung covering ng inyong buong kinetoplast. And then the axonyms, yan yung mismong uh, axonyms, sorry, sorry. Yung flagella, yan yung mismong gulong ng inyong sasakyan. No? Para makagalaw talaga siya. Okay? So, flagellates, we have the Georgia lamblia or the Georgia lamblia intestinalis. That is the main uh, species that is infecting the man, no? yung G. Bowel syndrome or traveler's diarrhea. So, the other name for the pathogenesis of your Georgia lamblia intestinalis is the georgiasis or the malabsorption and could cause steatorrhea. What do you mean by steatorrhea kasi in the CM? So, this is theatherea. You have um, a stool with fat. No? Or fatty stool. That is your steatorrhea. So, traveler's diarrhea or the gay bowel syndrome. It is called gay bowel syndrome. Um, a fun fact because in the first Georgia Lamblia cases were is in, is in the bat house, no? where in a lot of males are uh, naliligo don, no? or nagpapa jacuzzi. However, ginawa ng mga uh, gay association no? na LGBT association doon sa bat house, doon sila gumagawa ng RG. RG is parang sexual intercourse between a group no so group orgy sila doon so doon kumalat first yung Georgia lamblia no kaya siya tinawag na gay bowel syndrome so the trophozoite is the old man with eyeglasses no please take note of that and there is another species of Georgia lamblia is what we call the Georgia Lamblia, ay Georgia Lamblia Duodenalis. Okay. The difference naman, syempre, nasa pangalan na, the Georgia Lamblia infects your intestines, while the Georgia Lam uh, Lamblia Duodenalis 
infects your duodenum. We have also the Trichomonas species. The difference between the Lamblia and Trichomonas is the Trichomonas does not have a cystic stage. Please remember that. No? Um, they have the undulating membrane. Undulating membrane, ito yan, drawing natin siya, no? Makikita nyo yan sa uh, katawan niya mismo. This is the undulating membrane. Und undulating membrane. The purpose of your undulating membrane is for that particular parasite to move freely sa blood. Because blood is a bit of um, malapot, no? Parang malapot yung blood. So, para maka galaw ng maayos yung inyong trichomonas species sa bloodstream, kailangan niya yung undulating membrane. So, the motility is the jerky or tumbling motility. Uh, dito naman pala sa Georgia, no? Sorry, hindi, hindi ko nasulat. The motility of your uh, trophozoite is falling leaf motility. Please take note of that. Okay? So, we have uh, three species three significant species of your trichomonas, the uh, trichomonas hominis, which is found in the intestine, trichomonas tenax, which uh, inhabits your oral cavity, and syempre, the trichomonas vaginalis, which is present in your genitalia. So this is the considered as the most prevalent non-viral STI, but, and however, it is only pathogenic kanino sa females though the males can be a carrier could be a carrier it is highly pathogenic on females meaning they could cause certain diseases such as irritation uh, itchy feeling dun sa vaginal area no, ganun although in high um, high cases and rare cases of your uh, trichomonas vaginalis infection on males, it could cause infertility. No, pero very very rare lang yon. Next is the Chylomastix mesnili. It is a non-pathogenic flagellet. Next one are the hemoflagellates. Hemoflagellates otherwise known as your blood and tissue flagellates. So in the hemoflagellates and the blood or the blood and tissue flagellates, we have two main species that are pathogenic. We have the leishmania and the uh, trypanosoma. Leishmania, um, both of them and needs vectors. Si Leishmania, kailangan niya si Sandfly. Yan. Ang drawing natin. Ang ganda ng drawing ko. Yan. Sandfly. While si Trypanosoma, kailangan niya si Chechefly. Nasa gilid yung ano niyan. Yan. Yan. Ang ganda, no? Chechefly. Okay. So, for them, for you to understand their life cycle, uh, sisimplihan lang natin. No? Madali lang to. Kailangan maintindihan niya. The first thing na gagawin nila is the sunfly will inject what we call promastigote sa host niya. Sa human. No? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yan. It will inject pro Mastigote. And that promastigote will go through the bloodstream and makikita yan ng macrophage. Anong gagawin ni macrophage? It will ingest the promastigote. Ito yung promastigote. No, no. It will ingest the promastigote. The macrophage will ingest the promastigote and then the uh, macrophage will then be a carrier of the promastigote and the promastigote will uh, go through the next uh, level or the next uh, 
second stage of their life cycle, which is the amastigot. Nasaan yung amastigot na yon? Inside a macrophage. And then, sa, habang nandun siya sa loob ng, ama, ng macrophage, the amastigot will multiply. Will it rupture the, ma the macrophage? Hindi. Hindi ma-rupture ng macrophage. No? Pakitandaan po yan. Instead, the, the sunfly once again will ingest a blood meal from a uh, host na infected with the amastigot. Makukuha niya yan. No? Makukuha niya yung macrophage. And then, from there, the amastigot will uh, transform into a transform into promastigot. Saan? Sa fly. Sa fly ito, no? Fly. Ito, sa humans. So, kung promastigot na yan, babalik na siya sa dati, sa cycle natin. So, inject promastigot, na ganun. No? So, the infective stage of your Leishmania to humans, human host, no, is the promastigot. Well, the infective stage to your vector is the amastigot. Okay? Please take note of that. Next, the trypanosoma or your uh, trypanosoma species, on the other hand, so same lang then. We have the cheche fly. It will infect a human kukuha ng blood meal. No? Anong mangyayari ngayon? The trypanosoma will multiply through uh, binary fission. So, the uh, uh, trypam... Sorry, hindi ko nasabay yung first stage. The first stage is the trypamastigot. Then, the trypamastigot will multiply through binary fission doon sa inyong bloodstream. No? And then, from there, the uh, trypamastigot will uh, be ingested by your Cheche fly once again. No? So, in the humans, meron ka lang trypomastigot. No? Walang pagbabago. So, ito yung human stages nila. Sa trypanosoma, it's just, just the trypomastigot. No? And then, so, ingestion ulit ng fly. So, from trypomastigot, medyo mahaba na yan to. Magiging siyang procyclic. Magiging siyang epimastigot. Tapos magiging siyang um, metacyclic. Lahat to sa fly na to, no? Sa fly. So, magiging siyang procyclic trypomastigot. And then epimastigot. And then metacyclic trypomastigot. And then, once again, it will go back to the... Dito. No? As a trypomastigot. Uh, medyo pangit yung sulat ko. Hindi yung flowchart ko, no? Pero... If you want to have a clear, clear ano um, understanding ng cycle nila, you can look naman sa CDC. So basically, the infective stage to humans is the trypomastigot, as well as a uh, fly. So hemoflagellates. If you have the trypanosomes and the leishmania. So, it may infect the blood, lymph nodes, muscles, and the RES. RES is the reticulo and the filial system. No? So, we have four morphologies or stages or the apet, the amastigot, promastigot, epimastigot, and trypomastigot. So, they require vectors to infect hosts. So, madali lang yan. Pag leishmania, sunfly. Kapag uh, trypanosoma, 
cha cha flying no so i must go this round to oval so they are all diagnostically important no kasi the sample for your amastigot can be the tissues, muscles, the CNS as well, and the CNS macrophages. Pro amastigot, on the other hand, are long and slender. And blood is the sample immediately after transmission. Epimastigot can be long and slightly wider, and the sample is your arthropod vector. And lastly, your tripomastigot has a CS and U shape. And your sample is blood. So, Lichminia, the vector is once again sandfly, the phlebotomus species ng sandfly. The diagnostic stage is the amastigot. Okay. We have uh, three significant species of our uh, Lichminia. First one is the Tropica. It is common name is the Old World Cutaneous Leishmaniasis and the habitat is skin and it could cause dry conditions. The Brazilensis is the Mucocutaneous Leishmaniasis because the habitat is mucosal, the mucosa. No? It could cause the weeping lesions or this is more of the wet lesions. Ibig sabihin, the dry lesions, parang meron ka lang uh, eczema na medyo uh, mas, mas reddish and it's much bigger. And pag brazilensis, it is weeping. So, it is um, slightly parang nag, uh, lumalabas yung plasma dun sa inyong uh, sugat. No? Uh, the last one is the donovani. It is otherwise known as your visceral Leishmaniasis, and the habitat there is the organs. No? This is the Kalaazar, or the Dum Dum, or the Black Fever, Splenomegaly. Black Fever because it could cause your skin to turn black, no? Kasi yung um, yung infection niya sa um, sa macrophages, it could uh, also damage your RBCs. No? So, na pwedeng madamay yung RBCs mo. Kaya, black fever. The next one is the trypanosoma. The vector for your brusei is the cheche fly. And for your cruzi is the redovid kissing bugs. No? The diagnostic stage is the uh, trypomastigot. So, cruzi it's the American trypanosomiasis or the Chagas disease. The habitat is the uh, uh, reticuloendothelial system, cardiac muscle, and the CNS. The pathology is uh, Chagoma, and Ramon assigned. Chagoma is yung parang meron kang target. No? Parang may target. Yung ganyan na, na uh, kagat. Ganyan. Ganyan na nakagat sa ano mo yun, yun yung ganyan yung itsura ng kagat na isang uh, redovid bug no? parang target siya okay, that is the chagoma or the roman assign the next one is the trypanosoma rhodesiense the east african sleeping sickness so the, they are almost the same no? the rhodesiense and the gambiense because the these are all brusei species so, the habitat is uh, febrile, under your febrile, febrile meaning um, fever, fe fe feverish stage. No? Pag linalagnat yung pasyente mo, the habitat of your trypanosoma brosei species is in the blood and lymph tissues. And if you are sleeping, they are in the CSF because they could cause the somniscience. No? Uh, ayan, to 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 to. So, Somniscience means yung sudden urge to sleep anytime and anywhere. No? Ganun. So, meron siyang winter bottom sign and the carandel sign. Pag uh, winter bottom sign and the carandel sign, that is your enlargement of your uh, lymph nodes. No? So, 
parang may kulani. Pero it's much bigger than your the regular kulani. Yun yung my winter bottoms in Carandel. Okay? Next one is the class Ciliophora. No? Or the Ciliate. Isa lang naman yung significant parasite dito. It is the Balantidium coli. It's the largest, the only human pathogen of your uh, ciliate. It's the largest parasitic protozoan. The mode of transmission is ingestion of your infective cysts present on the feces or the stool of the pigs. The normal host or the regular host are pigs. So basically, humans are accidental host. No? Please take note of that. Pathology is the abdomin abdominal discomfort and dysentery. And the tissue invasion of your balantidium coli is uh, submucosal lesions. They could cause submucosal lesions and even hemorrhage. The trophozoite has two kinds of nuclei. Okay, well, this is very important. This may uh, show in your board exam, no? We have the macronucleus, which is the vegetative uh, uh, vegetative nuclei, and the micronucleus, which is micronucleus, which is the reproductive nuclei. This this nucleus is the um, reason why they could uh, reproduce, no? Through nuclear reproduction, cyst. Uh, they have a refractive double wall. Okay, so yeah. And the last ones are the apicomplexans. No? 